I've sent three separate expeditions into the Dark Temple. Not one has returned. I can't say for sure what's going on, but people who go in there, they don't come back. What makes you say that? Sounds I heard coming out of that place would send a rancor running, if it was smart enough to run. You can survive the Dark Temple. I beg you to do me, and more importantly, the Empire a favor. The expeditions I sent in were looking for specific data. I can spare the manpower. They were slaves, mostly. But the data is essential. What kind of data was it? We were studying a recent increase in seismic activity in the area, including possible damage to the temple itself. The slaves from the expeditions were equipped with data pads to store the data they collected. Bring back those data pads. This information's vital to future construction on Drome and Kars. It's not glamorous, but will you help? I wouldn't call it a challenge, but it seems straightforward. Amazing. Fantastic. Your help is invaluable. I'll mark the location the expedition last signaled from on your map. It's the best I can do. At last, the Dark Council has answered my petitions and sent a fine young Sith to help secure the temple. I'm not here to secure the temple. Of course, I've been ignored again. How stupid of me. If you're here, however, you must have the authority to enter the Dark Temple. You could still save this planet. You have my complete undivided attention. The Dark Temple is ancient, built during a previous incarnation of our Empire. A thousand years ago, our own Emperor buried his enemies here. These enemies remain powerful, even in death, which is why the Temple was sealed. But now, something terrible has happened. Some idiot went and woke them up. With the Emperor's attention elsewhere, a group of ambitious but ignorant Sith thought to gain power by raiding the temple. They didn't find the relics they sought. Instead, they awoke an ancient Sith Lord, Lord Kallig, and their expedition plunged into madness. What was this expedition? How many people were lost? At least a hundred. Several Sith, slaves, soldiers, experts. All stupid. Because Lord Kallig died by ambush, I believe he awakened unaware of his own death, and his expectations became reality. For those around him, his power overwhelmed all inside the temple. And even now the workers plot wars against each other, believing themselves Sith Lords, and drawing terrible power from Kallig himself. Are there more dead Sith Lords in there? Ah, you begin to see the crisis. There are still more ancient Sith Lords whose spirits lay dormant in the temple. If the ancient Sith Lords are woken by the violence within, they could overrun Dromund Kars. Let's keep them napping. I have studied all of the burial chambers within. Each was made with the same ancient design, one we can exploit. If you fuse the 500 kilogram hinges on each tomb door, even a violent assault should not be able to wake the Ancients. What exactly does this entail? The team I sent in earlier was using a massive metal torch. Effective, but slow, I'm afraid. They did not make it far. The torch must be recovered, and the doors of the Ancients sealed. Do you dare approach the great Nil Venerous Lord of the Sith, Master of the Undying Darkness? Answer me. What insolence brings you to this place, slave? You don't look like a Sith Lord, and you wear a slave collar. What? You're not afraid of me? You aren't a mindless puppet like the rest of them are? I don't understand. What's happening here? I'm... I'm not sure. I... Yeah, I was part of an expedition sent by the Empire to measure strange activity in the Dark Temple. But soon after we entered, we all became... different people. I became the mighty Lord Venerous, and the others became my obedient followers and servants. 
Could you try to explain things from the beginning? We were gathering data for the Empire, and then we were all suddenly... possessed. It's strange that you seem to be unaffected. In fact, it's strange to find you here at all. I thought the Imperials gave up sending people in here. What exactly are you doing here? The Imperials want data. I'm going to get it for them. So, the Imperials haven't given up on getting their precious data, after all. This is lucky. You see, ever since I came to my senses, I've been worried that my followers will begin to doubt my leadership. I can't lose my power. I can't go back to being a slave. But maybe... maybe we can help each other. You have my complete undivided attention. All, all I ask is that you find the symbols of Lord Venerus's power. They were looted from his tomb by the people possessed by Venerus's enemies. The symbols will help me reinforce my followers' belief in me. Lock them in their dream. I make no guarantees. Be careful. Venerus's old enemies will put up a good fight. My network of spies reports that you crushed my enemies underfoot and found the symbols of power I requested. It's right here. Have it. I too have been very busy. Here is the data my servants collected before the temple transformed them. Let the Empire make of it what they will. I am most grateful. You're welcome. Oh, and... Um, there's one last itty-bitty little thing you can do, you see. Power is useless without subjects. So, I'd be grateful when you turn in the data, you'd encourage the Imperials to send more expeditions my way. Not a bad idea. Yes. I do think I've finally found my true calling. I can assure you, my gratitude if you send more slaves to be my followers will not be insubstantial. The chronometer tells me it has been exactly 963 years since this hologram was made. Have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long? I guess that would depend on who you are and who you ask. A careful answer. But you certainly don't need to fear me. This image is all that remains of Kelethur. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor and was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this, an interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tomb and unlock it. I unlocked your tomb, so start transmitting. Patience, and everything will become clear. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. What's the secret, then? It's a lie. Fear is a lie. Passion, a lie. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the Force comes when one is no longer afraid. And one can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself, and allows the Force to guide him. There is only the Force. What do you mean, there's only the Force? Just that. Everything there is, life and death alike, is wrapped up in the Force. What I learned only lives on through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the Force, eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. The world must know what you've learned. The Sith should know fear is not the only way. As for me, my message is concluded. I will now depart.
Yes, yes. I have been waiting for you. I felt your movements in the Force, and they stirred me from my nightmare. I am still too weak to leave, but I knew if I made myself another than useless, you would eventually come. The Sith throw flesh endlessly at what they cannot control, and here you are, blood of my blood. Here you are. What are you talking about? Ah, you don't know me. Has our family fallen so far that the son of my sons does not know the name of Kallik, the name so long revered in the annals of the Sith? You are my descendant. By how many generations, I do not know. But know this. Your strength in the Force has awakened me from my stupor. What do you mean, I awakened you? When the weaklings of this planet trespassed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more a lord of the Sith. But when you first grasped the hilt of your lightsaber, I knew my hour had come and gone, that your strength, not mine, would return our family to glory. But I'm a former slave. That is my shame. I was once one of the greatest lords of the Sith. If I had been wiser, I could have secured my family's greatness. But I let down my guard and was betrayed by a man called Tulak Horde, whom I trusted as a friend. The places Amin's Waihai's fools, go and did a seek from Tauhans. Ha! Your master is dead, beast. You serve the child of Kalib now. Flesh of my flesh, you should teach your servant to obey. I will deal with him as I see fit. Fair enough. I only caution you not to take obedience for granted. In restoring our bloodline to glory, you must not make the same mistake. Treachery is the Sith's endless game. You must win it. Don't worry about me. Beware your master. Beware your apprentice. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things, and you will be unstoppable. But you have not come to see me. You have come for the artifact I managed to wrest from Tulak Horde before he died. Take the artifact, but be careful. I know not what it does. Only that betrayal follows it everywhere. I'll use caution. I hunger for the day when our power will be restored. We will meet again. Do you have the artifact yet? I have the artifact in hand. Of course. Brilliant. Magnificent. Hurry back to Scotia's, I mean, my chambers. I cannot wait to see this artifact. And I have a surprise for you. I'll see you in Scotia's chambers shortly. Good. Good. Oh, I can't wait.